Now here, I take you there. You feel that? And you, you are here. I'm like just chasing you there. Because you had already decided you're coming up going into Right. Don't stop it. I just lift and kept going. Kept it going. You know? You're not getting back anymore. This is hard. <laughs> it is so loose. But I know it's, I love what you're talking about, bro. You're on the song uh, now. Yeah. And the shoe can't be too hard for that it noise. Right. It doesn't go well. Plus you have to go with the box through the push. Major layer. Oh, but see the thing is what happens if you do it higher, you, you tend to hit, they end up hit each other once they hit. The last two was here. watching Showtime Atlanta and this is the company Balithic Dance Company we are preparing for Urban Nutcracker and Urban Nutcracker will show at the first center November 16th through the 20th and you can get your tickets at the first center or if you know a parent or a child that dances with Balithic you can get tickets from one of those cast members
again, I'm Nina Gilreath. I'm one of the co-founders of Bell Ethnic Dance Company, and we have existed for 21 years. In January, it will be 22 years. I'm married to Waverly Lucas. This is my husband, and we started Bell Ethnic together. We're happy with Urban Nutcracker because we kick off the Nutcracker season. So we perform Urban Nutcracker the weekend before Thanksgiving, always and we set the tone for the other Nutcrackers. Our Nutcracker is different because it happens on Auburn Avenue. It's one of the only Nutcrackers here in Atlanta that the setting is a local setting. And we felt that was important because people could relate to something in their own community. We also have a community favorite as one of the disbursements, and that's the Coca-Cola Pot of Seas, which is a bubbly little dance. And we're very happy to see the Coca-Cola bottles stroll down Auburn Avenues every year. We also have Big Mama, and she tells a story that's important to ballet ethnic because many people think when they come to a ballet, they don't know what's happening. So we have the narrator, Big Mama, tell us the story, and then everyone feels included, and they don't have to guess what's going on. And uh, we love Urban Nutcracker, again, because it helps us to celebrate the holiday season. It's a tradition here now. And then also uh, Black Russian. We have our Russian dance is called Black Russian because it's based off of the black licorice. And also what we've done is we've taken the original Tchaikovsky score and we've added, we've made it a percussive score. So it's in the uh, time, same time signature as Tchaikovsky score, but it's all percussive and it uh, was redone by uh, L. Gerard Reed. And then um, the other fun thing about Urban Nutcracker, we celebrate diversity. And um, you won't see, like in typical Nutcrackers, there's a lot of the coloring of pink, but ours, we celebrate chocolate. So with the Grand Pas de Deux, or the big uh, dance of two, we have the chocolatier and the brown sugar, because the brown sugar is the sweetest sugar of all. So it's a very, very lively second act. And we're going to have Carla tell us a little bit about her role as one of the dolls, the magical dolls. I'm Sadie. I'm in the Urban Nutcracker. And um, this is my sailor. And we're mechanical dolls that Professor Isaac brings to life. And um, we just do a short dance um, together to just um, as a present to Sarah. And then you know we freeze. And then the kids come and play with us. And then that's our scene. <laughs> And I'm actually Father Johnson in the ballet. I'm standing in today for uh, Chad Jones. And then Calvin's going to tell us about his role as the other doll. Yes, I am the reggae rag doll, and I have the beautiful task of jumping through <laughs> this lovely hoop, <laughs> which causes so much drama and stress. <laughs> and I also have to catch it as well. But it's a really fun part and the kids and the audience always love the reggae ragdoll too. Thank and Layla Howard is his partner. So thank you, Mr. Calvin. Also we have Savory and Brittany. The battle scene happens after the party scene. And the battle scene is really fun because it's this nightmare that Sarah has she falls asleep under the Christmas tree, and her beloved nutcracker comes to life, and then the rats jump from underneath the tree, and they become life-size rats. So they're going to tell you a little bit about the battle scene. Well, I am the chocolate tear, chocolate nutcracker. <laughs> um, I come to life in Sarah's dream to lead the soldiers to battle with the rats. <laughs> So that, it, so that they don't destroy Sarah, Andy, and we don't this other characters in there. We battle um, the Queen Rat, and yes, we do win, even though I get banged up pretty badly. We do win. And this is my lovely helmet. <laughs> this, is, this is what protects my pretty face. <laughs> and the battle against the Rat Queen. Yes. Um, this is the Rat Queen, affectionately known as She-Ra. Um, it is a beast on stage, but it also, it, for me, the Rat Queen is one of the, I think, one of the best roles in the production. Because it's one of those roles where you actually get to step out of being the ballet dancer and being a She-Warrior on stage and just beat somebody up. So like, whatever you go through during your day, this is the one time you can take it out your aggression on that lovely nutcracker right there. Um, it's, and I also lead the army of the great rats 
And we try to do that with the Nutcracker, but of course, magic doesn't work the right way, so they end up beating us. But, you know, it's a really great role, and it's a really fun part. A lot of kids are scared of the rats, so, you know, FYI, if there's any children watching this, there is a scary part. If you like horror movies, we're called the rats. <laughs> One of the things is, uh, nut our Nutcracker is based off of uh, Marcus Garvey and his image, and the Garveyite soldiers. Okay, so that's Urban Nutcracker is one of the ballets or productions that we do. We also have other productions that we perform, and we as a professional company, not only do we perform in Atlanta and East Point and the metropolitan region, we travel on the road and we perform what we call repertoire shows. Um, we have done a show called The Best of Ethnic, in which we get to be real people and we perform ballets about relationships. So many of those ballets are dramas about uh, three people fighting in a relationship, a man in love with a woman, two men dancing and showing their strength. So you can see one of those relationship ballets also. Check out our website, ballethnic.org, if you want to know about our future performances.
website, ballethnic.org, if you want to know about our future performances. And in March, Jazzy Sleep and Beauty is coming back March 21st through the 25th at the First Center. Don't be scared. Yes, Calvin. Go across the KC. <laughs> 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 we have. <laughs> <laughs> we have silliness all day long. All day. All day. <laughs> <laughs>